11 minutes before nine, let's change the subject. If you're in employment and you're a member of a trade union, why do you join your trade union? What is the purpose of the trade union? It presumably is going to protect you and your colleagues if one of you is unfairly dismissed or whatever it might be. It seeks to get better employment protection. If you go back to the dark, dark days of employment, it makes sure that you're even safe at work. But should it venture into the political arena? Well, for one person, when her union did, it was enough. And she'd been a member for more than 50 years. I speak of actress, West End star, all-round good egg, Dame Maureen Lippman, who joins me now. Maureen, good to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. More than 50 years, but suddenly you said, up with this, I will not put. Why? Uh, well, because it no longer represents me, Nick. Uh, how can it when it's instructing uh, its members to get out to a Palestinian rally of 170,000 people and um, boycott goods from um, the Jewish state of Israel. Uh, I, I think perhaps um, it's, it's short sight, a uh, short sighted view. I know that uh, the Union of Equity has been political in the past, but I don't see them asking members to go to protest against any of the other terrible uh, wars and conflicts in the world. I won't go through the whole thing about the Uyghurs and the Rohingyas and the Sudanese and everyone else, because I will be accused of by the progressive left of whataboutism or whataboutery, which means that you can't actually have a conversation about Israel without um, being pulled up short, because you can't. It's an obsession, Nick, with, with, uh, with the progressive left, an absolute obsession. So uh, it doesn't represent me anymore. And of course, the result of that uh, rally was elderly Jews being attacked in restaurants and cars rammed in Finchley Road. And, you know, you have to understand that a lot of people just don't know the difference between anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. Most Jewish actors in this union have probably never been to Israel or don't have an opinion or like David Bedil say... I don't give a toss about Israel. I'm talking about anti-Semitism here. Yeah. So uh, you, you are you are inciting something which is essentially dangerous, and and that's that's not for me. After 54 years of giving them my daily bread, a thousand pound a year, I'm thinking to myself, what the hell do I need these people yeah. for? They don't represent me. Have you, in your career, have you ever been a victim of anti-Semitism? Have you ever witnessed it in your career, Maureen? Well, it's the last. Um, 10 years really where it's come to a head isn't it but before that absolutely not i had a few dodgy letters when i played joyce grenfell saying keep your hands off our joyce she was english oh. she was three quarters of american actually but this is what we're fighting <laughs> ignorance people just don't understand the complexity of this conflict let me and also, sorry no i was just saying you, we, we, you gave a very powerful interview to the daily telegraph and we, we spoke about that a day or so ago and what really upset me maureen was that young jewish actors were saying they've come into the profession they hope they're not asked about their faith sometimes they even they might hide a necklace or whatever it might be because they see it as a real obstacle to progressing now it doesn't matter whether you're jewish you're muslim it doesn't matter this should not be in a trade such as yours should it should, absolutely not. And particularly now, we have had a pandemic for 15 months. Actors have never, ever been lacking in employment like they have been. And of course, they don't even have the uh, advantage of being able to waitress or do usheretting yeah. because there's no theatres and no restaurants. So they're in dire straits and there's no money for arts education and there's you know we have um, an old people's home we have pensions there is so much that equity should and probably is attempting to do that the prioritizing of um uh, of a rally and the you know demonization of the jewish faith because is 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 to my mind is is wrong and she should apologize it's um an incredibly complex conflict this in actual fact i think it served both sides it's political it's not yes. uh, p personal it served both sides well hamas got fresh kudos and lots of money coming in and uh, and the israel israel army took out 300 miles of tunnels now you know i mean it, it, it to me would maureen Beatty have said to her membership right uh, go out and support the ira because they're bombing london but they have a cause yeah. it's, it's 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 ludicrous just lastly on the political side maureen 
Um, do some politicians have some responsibility here? There was uh, one of those rallies where uh, the, uh, an Israeli flag was set alight. Jeremy Corbyn addressed that rally. Does he need to look to himself? I don't think he can look to himself because Jeremy Corbyn is anti-capitalist. And as far as he sees himself, that means he's he, he's not anti-Semitry. He says he doesn't have a racist bo bone in his body. It's in his muscles, Nick. It's in his sinews. He, you know, the mural, I could cite you so many things. And yes, you know, it's been difficult for me since I came out against Corbyn's anti-Semitism. You know, I've been dropped from a lot of invitations in the last couple of years. And so be it. We have to, we have to as a race, and he doesn't believe we are a race, so how can he be racist? We have to as a race stand up and address this because otherwise it's really lambs to the slaughter and we're not going to do that, we're not going to have that. And this is, I don't want to spend my life talking about the, my people, Nick. It's not what no. I do. No. So, uh, but but no. it's, it's sort of thrust upon me. And has Sakir <laughs> won you back to the Labour fold, Maureen? It, it, I think he did a very good job at the beginning, and I feel for him because uh, to, to be in opposition is heinous anyway, but to be in opposition against someone as slippery as Boris uh, is, is, is truly difficult. Maybe the Labour Party has to uh, recon reconstruct itself in a different way. Uh, I think he's a good man. Um, I think they, they, they have a problem um, as, uh, you know, as, as we grow further and further to yeah. the right which is a worry. The Equity used to be a really right-wing organisation, and we all fought that. And now it's a really left. Please, God, have you got a pendulum at LBC? Because I would <laughs> like that thing to swing back to normality and look after all the, vari you know, all the various of course. Um, uh, thoughts and, and feelings of its members. Yep. Look, actors are trained to see both sides of the argument. You can't play Richard III if you think he's an... A, a, you know, a horrible individual. Brilliant. You have to get behind him and see what he's seeing. And she, the and, and the Paul Fleming, who's backing her up, there'll be no apology because they never apologise to Jewish people. That you know, he he should say to her, if you're going to incite people to go on a rally and to boycott goods, then uh, you know, at least you have to state and yeah. be careful not to be anti-Semitic if you're being anti-Zionist. Just right. be careful. Just say that to the membership. Just show parity. That's right. what the union's there for. We don't have a pendulum, but I have got a clock, and I'm afraid that our time is over. Great speaking with you. Thank you so much. Good having you on the show.